Let me ask you this, and be honest with your answer. Comment below in the comments of this video. If you had to remember the IP address of all of your favorite websites, all of those game servers that you use, even on Xbox and PlayStation, would you use the internet? I don't think many people would. I think it would be a small fraction of people that are on the internet if they had to remember the IP address of their favorite website. This was some of the engineers that built the internet started to see this early on and developed this system called DNS or the domain name system. Now the domain name system allows us to resolve host names to IP address, meaning I can go to IGN.com or YouTube.com instead of typing in the IP address of that website. I, I think back to uh, when I was young, it, we didn't actually have contacts in the cell phone yet. So when I dialed somebody's phone number, I actually knew it by heart. And I still have that some of some numbers of my friends and family <laughs> memorized. But for the most part, I'm just like, hey, Siri or OK, Google call James or call Jeanette, right? And it calls. But think about how that works on the phone. When you say or you press the name of somebody uh, and their contact information, your phone actually dials a phone number. It doesn't dial a name. It dials a phone number. So think about DNS in the same way. It's just looking up a name or it's looking up an IP address based on a name that you entered. It's really a system designed to make using the internet and the web easier for us humans.